Well, philanthropy is very important to us for two reasons. Uh, one is that we have the, the ongoing year in, year out challenge of supporting our students and we fundraise for about 250 scholarships a year. And without that money, uh, our students really wouldn't be able to last the course. And uh, many of the household names that you associate with the Guildhall School, Tasman Little, Bryn Turbell, Daniel Craig, uh, wouldn't have made it through uh, into the profession. At the moment, we have an extra challenge in the Guildhall School because we're, we've got a capital campaign going at the moment for a new building. The building itself is paid for, but uh, the equipment in the building isn't yet. So I have a challenge of 13 and a half million, and that's my fundraising target at the moment. Equipping uh, a building for music and drama to the very highest specification is expensive, and so therefore I'm very reliant on donors to buy into that project. So we're expanding into Milton Court uh, because essentially we've got too many people in this building. It was designed for 350 and it's nearly a thousand. So we're taking the drama school across the road. Music will stay here. And over the road in Milton Court, we're going to have a concert hall, a lyric theater, a studio theater, full-size rehearsal spaces, teaching rooms, a dedicated TV studio where we'll be able to teach uh, film, uh, video, projection. Essentially, we're looking to offer a training for the future. Well, what we are really excited about is the fact that we now or will have the largest in-house concert venue of any of the London conservatoires. Uh, and this will allow for professional uh, ensembles to come and work with our students in masterclass and concert scenarios. It's really a matter of space. We'll have this huge space uh, equivalent to the Wigmore Hall, sort of the Wigmore Hall uh, in the city. And also uh, a problem that conservatoires have throughout the world is the, the need for practice rooms. And with Milton Court, it will ease uh, the uh, strain on the practice rooms that we have here, and we will be able to build more, and the students will be able to practice more easily. The match funding scheme has enabled us to reach new donors and to bring uh, a wider circle of prospects into, into the, the, the Guildhall family. And that's been great, obviously, because we hope that those donors will stay with us uh, for a long time to come. I think it really came into its own in the third year of the match funding scheme when our capital appeal really coincided. And in the last few months, it actually meant that we could go to some donors and really make them focus on making a gift before the end of the scheme so that we got the match uh, and increased the value of their gift to the programme. And um, I think they were really excited about it. They were really excited to know that they, they were getting added value for their gift, um, which really meant a lot to them. The Worshipful Company of Musicians is one of 108 livery companies that operate in the City of London. They are in fact the equivalent of the medieval trades unions or guilds. And on an annual basis, uh, the livery movement collectively gives away something like £40 million in charitable donations. Of course, uh, charity is only one aspect of our life. The other is education, and education at all levels is crucial to the livery movement. At the moment, standing here speaking to you as master of the Worshipful Company of Musicians, I'm particularly keen uh, to speak about uh, the Guildhall School of Music and Drama. The city uh, is very lucky to have the Barbican Centre, the LSO, and the jewel in the Corporation of London's Crown, the Guildhall School of Music and Drama. And uh, the fact that we were able to make a donation to help kit out this marvellous building behind us and ensure that the facilities within are world-class and state-of-the-art, as I know uh, that is the quality of the students we're attracting, that is very, very important to us at this moment. The fact that we were able uh, to acquire match funding for the project uh, fills us with joy. Obviously, philanthropy is not just about uh, the money aspect of life, but it's about the time and dedication that our alumni and philanthropists in general give to the students at the Guildhall School. For example, uh, master classes. Uh, it's a really important part of life for students at the Guildhall School and we're always thankful to the philanthropists who can uh, give that to us.